I have uh, been telling everyone that I could handle all this, the pregnancy, the possibility of permanent blindness. When um, I, I can't see, I, I just ride it out. And so far, my sight always comes back. But when I start imagining that it doesn't, that I won't be able to see for the rest of my life, I... Now listen, you just take a deep breath, OK? Not a girl. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. are you kidding? Sorry for what? You are going through a mountain of blessings and curses all at the same time. You just need to take it one day at a time. I think a day may be too long. I think you just need to take it hour by hour for now. I can do that. I think you are the most courageous woman that I know. This is beyond superwoman. But this is not a time for you to be strong for everybody else, Angie. You do so much for everybody. It's time you let someone do the same for you. So I'm going to say it one more time. Is there anything I can do for you? Come on. What do you want? you want a spa day? Do you want a... Uh, a mani petty? You want a shopping spree? Well, you know what? Now that I think about it, actually, I do need some help choosing a new wardrobe. Well, good. Retail therapy, that does the trick for me every time. All right, all right. Well, listen, no maternity styles, okay? Because I, I need something to try to hide the fact that I'm pregnant. No, I, I'm, I'm on it. I'll, I'll go shopping. I'll bring everything back for your approval. Sure, you don't mind. I don't mind. Are you kidding me? Shopping is my favorite sport. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know what? I will make sure that my makeup is done and my hair is all done and I'll be ready and waiting for you. Okay. All right. I, you know, I, I, I just don't want to leave before Jesse comes back, yeah, all right? I'm, I'm fine. I don't want to. Trust me, okay? I really am fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you for everything. Love you. I love you. Okay, I'll be back. The big fashion show. <laughs> Greenlee, what are you, what are you doing? David could see you here. I know, I know. I'm glad you're well enough to come home. Yeah, me too. What's what's going on? I, what, I think I doing? have something on David. You do? What? Well, I followed him to the park and he used this phone to call his friend, the mechanic who sabotaged Erica's plane. That's amazing. Not really. When I tried to turn it on to get the guy's number, it didn't work. Well, let me take a look at it. He must have done something to it before he threw it out. There's got to be some way to get the information off of here. Let me just take a look. I've changed some things around here. Not really. It's just, uh, probably you just remember it differently. No, I remember. It's just weird, I guess. Being in a place that used to be your home and now it's not. I don't even know how lucky of a guy he is to have you. No, I'm feeling pretty lucky myself now that he's okay. Well, just remember, you can't take care of him if you don't take care of yourself. Do you read that in a fortune cookie? No, force of habit. So did he like the homecoming, the marching band, the cheerleaders? <laughs> he loved everything. He better. I'm going to have a lot of board games to donate to the hospital once he's fully recovered. Board games? Well, try not to kill the man now that he's at home. There's only so much excitement a man can take. Right? <laughs> well, what about you? How was your mom's sonogram? Sonogram shows a strong heartbeat. Everything's on track. Oh, I'm so glad. 
For her and for you. I mean, I know how worried you were. And don't forget what I said, okay? If you need to talk about her or anything else, you just let me know, okay? Well, I wouldn't want to interrupt one of those board games. All right. Thank you for getting me this description so fast. No problem. What's up with Madison? Nothing. She just came by to pick up a prescription for Ryan. I'm not talking about Ryan. I meant what's up with Madison and you. Yo, Franklin, Grant, Hubbard, you and your mother are the most important people in my life. Come on, come on, you know that, right? You believe me? Huh. Come on, little Jesse, I know you believe your dad, right? Huh? Crystal, uh, just give me a minute, okay? When you said that shopping was your favorite sport, you were not kidding. You think you're so clever, don't you? David, this is not a good time. You think I don't know what's been going on? Going on? Yeah. Arno Bly called me. Told me that you've been asking for a private audience with the board members. Trying to get them to turn against me and side with you. You know something? The least you can do if you're gonna go behind my back is turn around and look me in the eyes. 